Hey everyone, Karan here welcoming you back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last episode, we pretty much finished everything in regards to Eldrin, and story-wise, we are just about done with the game. In this episode, we're going to begin looking at stuff outside of the story, leading up to the end of the game. And we're going to begin right outside here in this whirlpool. Now let me go ahead and show you where it is real quick on the map. We are, well, uh, you see the plane there, but let me zoom into it, thank you. Uh, you notice we are over here at the top of the Sheridan continent, basically, in the northwest part of it. Yeah, northwest. <laughs> Sorry, I get my west and east mixed up sometimes. We're in the northwest part of the continent here, where, as it turns out, you might have seen fireworks before. Uh, you notice out here you got a whirlpool, which we can't cross unless we have super, uh, the super Albior, which of course we have. So, all we have to do is charge up, get some distance here, and that's not enough distance. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's charge a little bit further, shall we? That is the one thing about this is it is tough to know exactly what distance you have to get to charge up for these sorts of things until you do it. So is this enough? No crap. All right. Doggone it. Okay. Uh, let's point ourselves this way, I guess. Back all the way up here to the uh, continent within game and everything on it and see if this will work. Let's see, please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. Is it enough, is it enough, is it enough? No, not quite, talk on it. Well, ha, huh. go figure. Who would think that the craziest and most difficult thing I would have to do in this episode is gauge the distance to back up and swim into a whirlpool? Who'd have thunk it, huh? Okay, one more shot at this. I think this should be good enough since we got a little bit more gain say here. And yes, we are good. With that, we are in question mark, question mark, question mark. So let's see what it is. Well, actually it doesn't really tell you right now, but you can talk to this kiddo if you want to leave. God, no, we just got here. Hey, you a newcomer? Yeah, we unfortunately can't go up the elevator just yet. So we're gonna have to take the ladder, but even though it's a long ladder, you can still kind of get a sense where we're going. A little bit, at least. You'll get a much better sense once we actually get up there, what we have just found for ourselves. And it is... It's an interesting little place. I will note before I go to the top of the ladder, a couple of things you'll want to bring with you here are, first, a giant fishbone, for reasons I shall disclose a little bit later, and also, make sure to bring 230,000 gold with you. I... Can't pull up the menu, but I'll tell you, I have more than enough. Wow, you can't pull up the menu on the ladders? Jeez, okay. All right, if you say so. But yes, rest assured, I have enough money. If you've gone through Eldrin, you have enough money. Let me show you. See, there it is. Okay. Uh, well, you actually saw the name of the place there. Namcobanda Isle. This is the final town of the game. Uh, the final town that you can discover, certainly. And like I said, it's a rather peculiar place. Now, what do we do, pray tell, to get around here? Well, not much choice right now except to head out this door. Welcome to the Hidden City, Namco Banda Isle. Proof positive that Namco and Bandai had in fact merged. What is this place? A circus perhaps? No, not exactly. Looks aside, they seem to be using some pretty decent phone machinery. Whoa! What is that? It's creepy! A costume? How cute. What? It's creepy! Tokunaga is way cuter! T tokunaga cute? So what is this place, anyway? Welcome to our home. You're... the Darkwings. Your home? You mean this is the Darkwings hideout? That's right. At times, we're a circus troupe, the Black Dream. Other times, we're noble thieves, the Darkwings. But we're always the custodians of this hidden town. Welcome, visitors, to our proud home. Welcome to Namco Banda Isle. Hidden Town? You mean Kim Laska doesn't know about this? 
We take pride in our lives. We're not ruled by anyone. Except for Noir, that is. She created this town, after all. Well, I may not look it, but I'm actually a busy guy. I'll be on my way now. You've come all this way. Take a look around before you go. Take a look around? We don't have time for... Why not? We can afford a short rest. Colonel, are you sure? I won't force you to stay if you are not interested. But this is an autonomous state, in a manner of speaking. I think it would be to our advantage to look around. You're probably right. We might start to understand the Darkwings a little better, too. The Darkwings? Yes, I suppose so. All right! Field trip! So we get our official introduction to the place. You notice, uh, it's a little tough to tell until you get kind of over here more, but there are a lot of harbingers and a lot of, basically, uh, <laughs> tips of the hat to old Namco and Bandai games. The most notable tip of the hat is actually one that we already went past going up the ladder. Once we get the elevator going, you will see it pretty easily. But you can kind of see it there because you notice the Pac-Man's or the Pac-Man villains floating around and something that looks like SpongeBob SquarePants actually on the bottom are kind of pushing toward me. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and waltz in here, see what we can find. Nothing, actually. That's part of the gag. There are false doors and uh, all sorts of areas that you can't see. There's a door here, which you don't notice till you actually see the prompt there. Go ahead and try to head in there, but it's locked, so we gotta go around. It's a little kitschy, yes, but hey, it still works pretty well. Uh, hi there. Well, it actually is a little more obvious that there's a door there. I will note first off, uh, if you go around a little bit more, let's see, no, I need to go back this way, okay. There's two major areas here, but if you go over this way, you can actually go ahead and exit, and if you want to, that's fine. I mean, you're not really going to be able to do anything because it's up above the ground and the Albior is parked in the ocean, so not much you can do with that. But once you turn the security system off, it'll be easier to fly into that area than it will be to try to get at it in the sea. You cannot autopilot to Namco Banda Isle at any point, so that's something you might want to take advantage of. I'll be doing that basically off camera, I guess. Uh, Alright, so look at all this. I mean, you've got a, a piece of paper. Wow. Okay. I'm going to keep on banging out new releases. Yeah. Alrighty. We've got... What is this? The Warrior Maiden's Adventure. Well, it looks very Valkyrie sort of thing, I guess. You notice, uh, actually, you have main character costume for A Tale of Two Worlds, a.k.a. Tales of Symphonia, because that is the costume for, oh god, uh, Lloyd, that's right. I'm sitting here thinking, dang it, I can remember his name. Yeah, that's the costume for Lloyd, and you'll see some others in here. Let's see, the Black Dream Traveler. Okay, I think that's in-game sort of thing. But as I mentioned, there are... There are pretty much a lot of Harbingers to the different Namco games. I mean, as you might expect, because it's, well, I mean, it is a Namco game, and they're going to, <laughs> they're going to have their fan service, I guess, of a sort. Okay, uh, what the heck is this? Dig and Tug, the Drilling Puppets. Well, good job. Okay. Where we want to go as far as advancing a little bit, I suppose, is to head in here. And we walk up to the device and get a scene. This is some phone machine. I'm amazed simple thieves could get their hands on something like this. This is a monitoring system. It looks like it's keeping an eye on the town's surroundings. Then the attack on the Albior came from being monitored here. That's really nasty. I doubt that it was originally intended for a counterattack. The attacks launched on the Albior were mere fireworks, after all. That's right. We never had to worry about nobody flying in before, so we just used regular fireworks. So have people approached by land and sea? Yeah, but our defense systems kept them out. I see. So those unnatural whirlpools are your handiwork. Can you really make whirlpools? Well, all it really takes is a difference in water level. And there are rock walls all around. Blocking the sea entrance would truly make it a solitary island. But wouldn't that make it difficult to replenish supplies? They're thieves. They probably just steal it all. Though I guess it would be hard to bring back in. 
Regular thieves wouldn't build a base here. It's just not efficient. Isn't that what you're trying to say, Tyr? Yes. Yeah. So why did you build a town in a place like this, anyway? Huh. I'm not too sure. If you really want to know, you should try asking Noir. I got no idea if she'll tell you or not, but you can try. Alrighty, so that takes care of the security system. So now you can fly back in if you want to revisit. Which is good. Okay, let's see. Something else we can look at around here. I think it's somewhere close by. I know there is a... Well, weird noise. That's in the game, trust me. That's not me or any of my systems. What you can do, though, go over here and you notice the talk icon popping up on the... If I can get it back up here. Talk to whatever's over there, and it's a cat's. Meow! What do you want? Why are you hiding here? I'm not hiding. I'm just resting, meow. I just finished cleaning up. You cleaned up this place by yourself? That's great. I'm proud of you. Meow, thanks. But I found something we don't need, and I don't know what to do with it. I don't see why cats would need any of this stuff. Meow, we're not cats. We're cats. Right, right. So what's this thing you don't need? This round thing. It's a music disc. You said you didn't need this, right? Meow, yeah, don't need it. Then give it to us. Meow, you're scary. If you're going to throw that away, do you think we could have it? I'll see that it's put to good use. Meow, okay. I'll give it to you. Thank you. I'll take good care of it. Meow, I'm glad you like it. And as it turns out, it is one of the phonic music discs we need over in Sheridan, so hooray! Okay, now let's go ahead and get out of here and stop this incessant beeping. Jeez, I don't know why... I don't know why it beeps so bad. It's just really annoying. Okay. Now, what do you want to do next? Well, actually, what we want to do is uh, not walk out of there. But we should be able to go back in. Sorry, wrong room. There are two rooms that you can go through here. The other one where I want to go is actually right here. Now, once we go out of here, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, hello, kids. Never thought we'd see you all the way out here. Well, you gave us the key, didn't you? Oh my, I don't recall giving it to you. If you remember that key of darkness that we were given earlier in the adventure, that is the key actually that we needed to go through that door, otherwise it would have been locked. Does it really matter? Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. Can you tell me about Nam Cabanda Isle? What do you want to know? Why did you set it up? Oh, hmm, what to do? Hey, lady, tell us, and we'll give you Guy. Yannis, what are you trying to... That doesn't sound too bad. I was getting tired of these good-for-nothings anyway. It might be fun to work with a handsome man like you for a change. Uh, no, I... I don't think I'm your type. You need someone a little more, uh... Relax, I'm kidding. But you are darling when you panic. So, here's the deal. Noir! Noir! Quiet, you two. It's been 15 years now. I was born in Malkuth on the Isle of Ferris. It was destroyed by the tidal wave from Hod's destruction. I'd probably have been monster food myself if a passing ship hadn't picked me up. And not just me. York and Urushi, too. We was awful lucky to have been saved under them circumstances. We lost our homes, our families, everything in that instant. From that day on, we did anything to stay alive. Anything. We nabbed a scorer one time, and heard what happened to Ferris was part of the closed score. If they'd told people earlier, everybody could have survived. That truth was really hard on Noir. She got more depressed by the day. All we could do was watch over her. That's enough, both of you. Anyway, I got to thinking. Doth controlled the world through the score. 
As long as the Order held a close score, neither Malkuth nor Kimlaska could disobey them. So the rulers of both countries forgot their people and started kissing up to Doth. We figured it'd be better to give those idiots riches to their suffering people. As time went by, we started to pick up war orphans and whatnot. And before we knew it, we were a family of 459. As thieves, we can't live out in the open. But with so many people, it's kind of hard to hide. So we built a town out here. Only a few work as thieves. Most are performers in the circus. Nobody but the thieves knows there's thieving being done. Well, I think that probably answered your question. You're really kind. Oh, my. That's unexpected. Jade, about this town. Yes, we can't just let them go. Jade, that's cruel. Their past certainly deserves sympathy, but that hardly excuses the theft of property. Colonel, it's not that bad. It most certainly is. Though I don't intend to file a report until actually catching them in the act. Well, that's a surprise. Mr. Necromancer, I'd heard you were pretty rough. We have no intention of being caught, either. The town should be safe for a while. Noir, it's time for the next performance. I know. So long, kids. It seems that even the Colonel has some kindness within him. I must admit, it rather pains me to be trusted. Colonel... You can't mean you tricked them. No, their knowledge could come in handy. It's best to keep them on a short leash for now. Besides, a small town like this would fall to a siege in no time. <laughs> Poor Mew. Uh, I couldn't eat another bite. And with that, we get Luke's Noble Rogue title, which, there we go, uh, cures status ailments on Luke for the low, low cost of two over limit points. Meh, not a title I use, but hey, it's there. Alrighty, let's see, I believe, let's see, we can examine this and get a barrel falling on us. <laughs> There's lots of these little gags kind of all over the place. A family of idiots. <laughs> wow, nice. Uh, but that's part of what makes this place fun. I probably am not going to have time to look at all of them, unfortunately. But still, it's an interesting place to uh, interesting place to watch up in here. Alrighty, so now that we've gone through there, let's go ahead and head over to the other side of Namco Bandile and use all that money we actually brought over here. We brought it for good reason, trust me. Okay, these cowboys? Haha, -ha. and that's not just a pun, that's what the game actually calls them. We won't really deal with them until toward the end, but for now, let's go over and look at this for a second. Uh, actually, if you run around in here, you can interact with it, and it'll start making noise and such, I think. Let's see, wait a minute. Oh, haha. <laughs> okay, uh, Elian is one of the cowboys. We'll deal with him a little bit later. Alright, but for now, let's head over here where... Ah, uh, yeah, we have some old friends waiting for us. Hello, Antlion Man and the guttural voice. Here's yet another one of these guys. Is he the same as the others? Looks like it. Is it trendy now to act like antlion men or something? I don't know, but I certainly hope not. If we give this antlion man something, will he give us something in return too? You. M me Yes, you, who is most important. So we get to choose. I really doesn't matter which one you choose. I think the funniest one really is probably Tear, so let me go ahead and choose that. Tear, I guess. He said it! He casually said it! That's what I always thought. <laughs> I thought so. My sympathies, Tear. Luke, w what are you... Okay! And she's gone. Hey, what did you do with Tear? You give gold, me give back. Hey, 
You no give gold, me no give back important person. How much do you want? 76,500 gold. Damn it, fine, take it. And so we fork it over. I'm guessing you actually cannot queue this scene unless you have the money because it doesn't give you the option one way or the other. Now where's Tear? She outside. Hey Tear. Th that was startling. What's going on? Tear, are you okay? Y yes I think. Phew, I was seriously worried. What? Uh, I mean, it, uh, it, you know, if we lost you all of your equipment, that would suck. Oh, well, you can relax. The equipment's safe. R right. I'm an idiot. Yes, yes you are. Tear, are you okay? Yes, thanks. And when I was struggling, it seems I grabbed onto this. How about you try it on, Annis? What is this? I knew it. It's a cat's costume. Boo, boo. Why do I have to wear this kind of kitty costume? Hmm, because you're a kid. Boo, 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 boo. Good grief, that reminds me of Princess Bride. I'm not a kid. Oh, well, just be grateful, Annis. It costs 76,500 gold. Ah, I'd rather have 76,500 gold than this suit. Well, I actually argue other ways. Because Cat Cat Kitty Cat is not just a costume title. It also drops... Let's see. Uh, no, it doesn't drop prices. Sorry, that's one of Jade's titles. It also ups the sale price of every item you sell. That will come very much in handy later when I show you a trick to get lots and lots of money for a new game plus. So, I like the title. I'm keeping you in it, in fact. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and make that switch official here. Oh, never mind. It's already official. <laughs> so, yeah, it ups the sale prices of all the items, which comes in very much in handy. All right, now we've got one other antlion man we can talk to here. You help, brother! Why do they talk like that? That's how they talk in the fairy tales. Me have special item for you. Who helped, brother? A special item, huh? Ultimate grab bag of good stuff. Act now and it only one million gold. One million? No way! You helped, brother. Me give big discount. 150,000 gold. Good deal. Uh, I don't know about this. You know what? I do, and I'm taking it. Well, we've come this far. I guess we'll buy it. So, we fork over the change. Thank you. Here. Antlion grab bag, which... Well, you'll see what it contains in a second. What's in it? What's in it? Hang on. I'll open it. It's kind of heavy. We get apple gel... It's got sand all over it. What else? What else? Magic lens. This is covered in sand, too. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Apple! Beef! Chicken! Which you should be recognizing by now, because these are all the items that we gave the antlion man in the first place. Ew! They're all sandy! What else is there? The rest is... Sand? The heavy part is all sand. What? That's all we get for 150,000 gold? I figured. These are the items we... Yeah, this is the stuff we gave him. Hey, you! You better watch your back, bub. Nobody swindles Annis and gets away with it. Whoa! Yeah, no joke. When money's involved, she's something else. Wait, please. Me give bonus. Bonus? Here, take, please. And that, ladies and gents, is the prize we really want. Not bad, huh, Annis? That's pretty useful. 
What? I'm supposed to use this? We strong. You'd be surprised. Take good care of that. It cost us 150,000 gold. Hey, this seems to be a running theme here. Alright, so, why is that doll such a good thing? Well, let's go to Annis and find out, shall we? Alright, you notice I put the Persian boots on her just for the heck of it. We've had the Warrior Maiden, which raises combat abilities. We've had the Rare Genius, which opens up Divine Saber. I think, I don't remember if I picked that up on camera or if I did it through Den's trade. The Antlion Man, however, beats all the other dolls, and it's probably the best item in the game for Annis. Periodically recovers 8% HP and TP. So that's roughly every 6 seconds, she gets 8% of her health and magic back. That is really, really good. That is staying on her for the rest of the game. Okay, so, ah, uh, well, I will go through the skit here. Next time on Tales of the Abyss, we are going to continue here because we've got one other major thing to take care of, and it actually involves the cowboys over here, if I could stay in the room, there we go. It involves these cowboys here because we've got to do a little bit of journeying, and at the end of it, we actually will unlock a little something extra that we will play for a bit that kind of gives a little bit more to the game. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.